ECG showing atrial and ventricular pacing spikes indicating dual chamber AV sequential pacing is discussed here. Atrial pacing spike has been marked with long arrow and ventricular pacing spike with short arrow. In this ECG, though the atrial pacing spikes are seen, atrial capture in the form of paced P waves are not visible. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. It is possible that there is atrial non-capture either due to high thresholds or an atrial lead displacement. Another possibility is that paced P waves are isoelectric in the recorded leads. Regular ventricular capture is seen after each ventricular spike. The pace QRS complexes are wide and having left bundle branch block pattern with left axis deviation. This suggests a ventricular pacing site at right ventricular apex or right ventricular apical pacing. Similar pattern with normal QRS axis would suggest pacing from the right ventricular outflow region or RVOT pacing. Pacing artifacts are high frequency signals picked up from the pulse delivered by the pacemaker for electrical stimulation of a cardiac chamber. It is usually well documented by an analog ECG machine. When it comes to digital ECG machines, the pacing artifacts may be ironed out by the low pass filter settings which do not permit the display of high frequency pacing signal. Setting the upper limit of the frequency response or low pass filter to around 100 Hz usually displays the pacing artifact well. Some authors have even recommended using a low pass filter of 300 Hz to improve detection of pacemaker spike. They studied low pass filter settings from 40 Hz to 400 Hz in 12 lead ECG. Among the low pass filter settings studied, 300 Hz had the best performance in detecting atrial spikes. The gold standard for comparison was the diagnosis of pacemaker programmer. Here is a reference on the importance of low pass filter setting in detecting pacemaker spike. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.